Hey, this is Alan Manuel. You are watching PhilippineNews.com. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fresca Griarte. I'm actually a radio DJ out here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And uh, I was actually diagnosed with breast cancer in December of last year. So um, my journey has definitely taken me on quite a ride. And it happened when I didn't even have insurance. And it had to be, that was just a really, really big, frightening thing. I found out that I had breast cancer on December 13th of 2012. And when I got that phone call, um, you know, I was very alarmed because I really didn't think that it was anything. A couple of days before that, you know, felt the lump on a Monday. I had gone and got gotten a basically a confirmation from my doctor that said, okay, you should probably go down tomorrow and go to the breast clinic and just get it checked out. So it was my first mammogram, first sonogram and biopsy all on the same day which I was very lucky that we did it all at one time. And they were like, oh, this doesn't look bad, but you know what, let's just get a biopsy off of it anyway. So that's what we did. And then on Thursday, a couple days later, I get the call saying that it was positive and it was cancerous. And I was like, wow, really, like really surprised. Like that's the last, I'm, I'm healthy. I work out almost every day, but only be four days a week. I eat well, I don't drink, I don't do any of that stuff. And I get sick. I'm like, this is, incre this is incredible. So the very next day, they had me going to my surgeon to talk about um, a lumpectomy or surgery. So I got, um, they, had a, they had an opening the very following Thursday. So I was in surgery a week later after I was diagnosed. And at that time, they did a lumpectomy and a sentinel node biopsy, which is basically the first sentinel node that it would probably spread to if it was, if it was to spread out of the local area, which it didn't. Thank goodness. So I'm at stage one of breast cancer. However, I did take an oncotype test that um, neither did it, did it suggest that I should do chemotherapy or not, but those in the intermediate range typically uh, do do it. And, um, and so that's why I'm, I'm doing chemotherapy now. You know, I don't even feel sick. <laughs> I don't feel sick at all. It's, um, if I do feel a little bit sick, it's only because the medicine kind of like makes me a little weirdo. <laughs> And I, but I do keep a very light heart about it, you know? Um, and whether if I, if I was stage one, two, three, or four, I think a positive attitude definitely makes such a big difference through whatever journey you're going through in life. And um, it is proven that, if, uh, that stress does cause disease. So you should really start to understand how you personally um, are affected by stress because um, cortisol, uh, can, you know, basically cause disease. So read up on that and try to find other ways to help you lessen that, that stress level so you don't cause disease in your body. Uh, but I'm feeling really good and I just want to be out there to help inspire others and uh, to not be afraid. Cancer, some, cancer, I think, in the past was like this death sentence or people thought about it as a death sentence. Oh my gosh, you have cancer, you're gonna die, oh my goodness, you're gonna lose your hair, you're gonna have da da da, you're gonna have chemotherapy, and you're just gonna feel sick all the time. And um, I wanna break that whole, um, that whole stigma of cancer. Cancer does not mean you're gonna die. It means you've got some work to do, that's for sure. It, I mean, uh, hard work is hard work all the way around. You gotta do it, there's no way around it. Um, be educated and be very proactive with your health and um, be around people that love and support you. Prioritize who's important and who's not because cancer will <laughs> force you to figure that out. Um, but it's not impossible. And um, survivorship with breast cancer and early prevention um, is really what's gonna help you. So stay on top of it. Uh, before I go, I wanna say thank you to my family, first of all, my daughters, uh, my boyfriend, um, I want to say thank you to my, yes, my family. They're awesome. My doctors have been really, really good at both institutions. I was at Kaiser and I'm at Stanford. They're just awesome, great people. And um, I want to th say thank you to my trainers, Jim Wilson and Futaba Takashima at Physique Magnifique. They, without knowing that this was going to happen to me, 
they did they were just so great with helping me build up my body uh, for the whole year training really hard at, at, at their gym physique magnifique and little did I know that that training extensive training with them was really to help build up my body for my journey now with cancer so um, I want to thank them and I want to thank um, Osmar DeLima um, and also uh, Danny Lee at the gym great people yeah and of course I'm having this event uh, a benefit called unity there's so many people that are um, a part of that um, please check out the other video here at, on Philippine news uh, outlining what's going to be happening there and I, I really hope to see you guys there thank you